JR's Barbie Bungee Jumpin'. For our starting value, which is zero rubber bands, we have 16.83. For one rubber band, it is 26.33 repeating. For three rubber bands, it is 32.66 repeating. And just to let you know, we did three tests per rubber band. For rubber, rubber bands four, we did 44. For five rubber bands, we had 52.5. And for six rubber bands, we have the database of 61, and our tests were 61, 61, 61. Some of the factors were that the bands could have been stretched out over time by other groups in our group. Also, the law of large numbers says that if we do more tests, our data will be more accurate. Since we only did three, we could have done more to four or five, and our tests would be more accurate. For our tests in the hallway, we did pretty darn good, as you see in this slow-mo video right here. Now look at Pocahontas, barely not touched the floor, great job by us. Now once we zoom in even farther as we take another look at this video. Look at po po Pocahontas' hair, barely not skimmed floor. That's pretty good if you ask me. In conclusion, we would probably have switched out the broken rubber band that snapped during our testing with two rubber bands to compensate for the snap. If we were to do this project again, we would always round up instead of down during our calculations. This would make our data 23 rubber bands. Thank you very much for watching our presentation on the Barbie bungee video, and thank you for Pocahontas for risking her life for JR's Barbie bungee.